So hello gamers, recently I made a video about the L85A2 and why it is still a very good gun. But today I wanted to talk about a very similar gun that even after its nerf, I still got my first ever 100 kill game with. It was a 109 kill game on Metro and I rarely sweat in this game. So it was really good for me because, you know, I don't get 100 kill games because I don't really sweat in this game. And the fact that it was a nerfed version of a gun is even crazier because people don't really seem to think the G36 is good anymore. And the reason for this is it doesn't four hit kill at all. All ranges anymore, but it's still four hit kills to about 170, 160 studs, which is extremely far. It still has extremely fast velocity and pretty good overall recoil, like use compensator and folding grip because the hammer recoil is kind of annoying, but after that, it's just so accurate. And it has 750 RPM, so even though it's a four hit kill up close, it still has really good time to kill. Like that's why it's so great for close to medium and even longer ranges because high velocity, pretty good recoil. It just doesn't shoot super slow, only 50 RPM less than the M1683, which people use for close range literally every one second so. and people say yeah 300 conversion now not you don't even really need 300 conversion and even though the k2 did get a nerf k2 by default is still a little bit in my opinion better than 300 on the g36 and there's not really a ton of reason to use the 300 conversion even so yeah that's why i do recommend this is because i think even if you use ap it has like five less four hit kill range so maybe just use ap on this gun the four hit kill range is insane you can still use ap on it maybe i'll make a video about the scar l still having a four hit kill and maybe being better but honestly i still feel like this is going to be an overall slightly better gun for high kill games because of the rpm yeah it's not going to four hit kill at any range but yeah it is really really good still reload time is overall not the best it's to kill or not amazing it can three hit kill if one of them is ahead so it's not going to be super broken anymore i still feel like the four hit kill all ranges was a little bit too much i would like to see it have a 1.05 times torso multi so it can four hit kill torso at range but i'm going to be real it's still great like the four hit kill range is really far and it's still a very consistent gun and i've been using it way more after the nerf and liking it way more after the nerf than before which is weird because it's not really better it's just worse in every way it only got one damage less all i got same recoil same everything else and yeah it definitely deserved a nerf because four hit kill at any range was a little bit too good it's got the four hit kill range it has the four hit kill with one head at any range i just feel like the hate on this gun in its current state is a little bit too much because it is still really good so that's why i wanted to talk about this gun it's probably less hate than the le5 is getting the l85 is still in my opinion a five out of five this is still possibly a five out of five as well the l85 is a bit more accurate and has about the same four hit kill range so it's really which one you want the higher rpm and slightly better cqc damage versus the better recoil and min damage range but yeah they're about the same in terms of how effective they are but yeah if you guys did enjoy make sure to like and sub and i will see you guys in the next one peace